What's up, motherfuckers? Drew's back yet again with some more goddamn metal for your asses, and uh, this time a little bit of horror as well. You know, I've been thinking, because I fucking love metal. I fucking love horror. That's what this channel is all about. I've done horror movie reviews on here, and uh, I actually had a question from somebody as to whether or not I'm going to be doing more horror reviews, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But it just kind of got me thinking. You know, I was, I was thinking the past couple of days is like, it seems so obvious to me that metal and horror go hand in hand, because I fucking love metal, I fucking love horror. And actually, this rack here, this main rack, this is like all my metal shit. And this all is just horror movies. This is just my horror collection all up and down here. Like action movies and other shit that I like, that's all in the living room and the other room. But this is my horror wall. You know, I've, I've just, I've always been a big fan of horror. Horror uh, was a love of mine long before I even found metal. Like, when I was a little kid, I wasn't allowed to watch horror movies. Uh, I wouldn't have been allowed to listen to metal. Anything, you know, extreme, I wouldn't have been allowed to listen to when I was a kid either, but I didn't even know it existed. Um, the movies, you know, I would see the ones when they would come on cable. I remember being, like, a little kid and going into, like, the movie rental shop and just, like, seeing everything on the wall, and I always loved hanging out in the horror section because I knew if I got caught, I was going to get yelled at. But, like, just the fucking covers of the movies. It's like, dude, they look so fucking cool. And it's movies that I found later on as an adult. I'm finding these movies like, oh, I remember seeing that cover. Like, I remember forever going to a local video store and seeing the cover of what is I've came to know is Silent Night, Deadly Night. But he had, like, the bloody axe and Santa was going down the chimney and just being like, oh, like, that's the coolest shit ever. I remember when Jason Goes to Hell was a brand new movie. And it being up and just seeing, like, the flames in the back and, you know, the snake going through, like, the the eyes of the, you know, Jason's hockey mask and stuff and just being, like, fucking blown away by that. Um, but, and, of course, later I ended up watching that movie as an adult and it actually really sucked. It was, like, one of the worst Friday the 13th movies out there. But still, I just, I've always had that love of horror. And that kind of dark imagery from those those movie covers translates so perfectly into like metal like when you look at a badass metal album even like classic shit you look at fucking Iron Maiden's Killers like that's the kind of shit that I loved about horror for movies it's, it's the same thing for for music for me it just seemed so obvious to me that metal and horror go together like they go hand in hand that sort of dark scary creepy art a lot of that shit especially from the fucking 80s those horror movies even if they fucking sucked and you could be misled like a motherfucker metal albums are like that too but if they if it fucking art looks so goddamn cool like whoa what's going on here some of the friday the 13th i was never big on nightmare the uh, nightmare on elm street i was never big into that it was like i was well into i was like uh fuck i think in my 30s the first time i even watched any of them I used to see them when they would come on, like, on Sundays on, like, PBS or whatever, you know, where everything cool is edited out. And the best thing about those movies are the kills, for sure. But I guess it's just got me thinking, because some metal fans aren't into horror, and it kind of blows my mind why they aren't. Now, granted, I think most metal heads are into horror, but for the ones that aren't, it just kind of blows me away. Like, what is it about it that isn't connecting because it seems so fucking obvious to me and it also got me thinking about experiences I've had in the past with just people that aren't really into horror or aren't really into metal but I guess because of what you would call mainstream consciousness they're more aware of horror than they are of metal and they are also much more tolerant of horror than they are of metal like there's never uh, there's never a moment with the average person, you know, the average jack-off that, you know, like, watches football and shit like that. There's never a moment there where they're, they would think less of, like, Jack Nicholson. Oh, like, they wouldn't see, if they ever met Jack Nicholson, they wouldn't, like, keep their distance because, oh, this is that guy that went crazy in his hotel and tried to kill his family. Like, there would never be any of that. It's so obvious that, you know, well, he's, that's part of the art that he made whenever he worked on The Shining. But they don't do that for metal. Like, for metal, like, if, if they see Cannibal Corpse album covers or something, they're like, these guys are fucking sick. Like, what's wrong with these guys? But it's really the same thing, dude. It's, like, for me, it's, it's rock and roll. At the end of the day, Cannibal Corpse is just carrying the flag that, you know, was hoisted by Chuck Berry and Little Richard. They just do it in a different... Like, for me, that's the way that I honestly see it. 
Now, the music obviously doesn't sound like Johnny B. Good and, you know, Long Tall Sally, but it's just the, the evolution of the same thing. It's this loud music, and they do something different with it. But for your average person, they don't make that distinction. Like, if I wear a Texas Chainsaw Massacre t-shirt, most people know that that is a horror movie. And, you know, I'm, I might get somebody here or there saying, like, um, oh, cool, yeah, dude, that's like fucking old school Chainsaw Massacre. Awesome. But if I, and I, granted, I haven't caught shit for wearing metal band shirts since I was, like, in my late teens, early 20s. But I've never caught shit for wearing a horror movie t-shirt. I have caught shit for wearing metal shirts. And again, I don't wear, I never have wore like real grotesque, gory, brutal, or sexual album art on my shirts. But stuff that's even like vaguely, you know, offensive to the masses. And I can tell you some stories on that. Again, this was all late teens, early 20s. But I remember my first show, I saw Cannibal Corpse back in 2007. And... I had bought a, a shirt to commemorate it. Like, I wanted to remember it. I still have the shirt. Uh, it was on their Kill Tour. And, you know, I go over to their merch table, and basically every shirt is, like, gory. I'm like, man, I just, I don't want the hassle of some asshole. I don't want to get kicked out of stores. I'm just trying to go about my fucking business. I really like the music. I like the art. But it's like, man, what is, like, the what, like, what is one I can get away here that I'm still going to like, but that isn't going to just, like outrage some store owner to throw me out of the store or something like that you know they got like submerged in boiling flesh and they got like their tomb of the mutilated shirts and you know all this grisly shit that's so cool about cannibal corpse art i mean wretched spawn was the album that got me into them and if you've ever seen that album cover oof i remember my friend seeing it at the time i was like dude check this out and he's like don't buy that that's fucking sick that's disgusting I, like why would you even want that that i bought it so yeah love the fucking album too by the way but so I got like one of their, I wouldn't say it's even tame, it's tame by their standards, but apparently by the normal people's standards, it's not. You know, this is back in the day, this is back in 2007, I remember wearing that shit to work. And I didn't work directly with the public, I built breakers and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, so I had my own little station on the assembly line that I did the shit, but I remember like me and some of the other people had went out and they were like smoking cigarettes, we were just taking a break. And, you know, just, and it's the classic, nowadays we call them Karens. We didn't used to have names for them. We just called them nosy bitches. But, <clears throat> excuse me, we just called them nosy bitches. But that lady kind of like flipped out. It's like, isn't there enough violence in the world without you promoting it? And on the back of the t-shirt, you know, it's got the tour dates, but it has the word kill, like written three times. And I'm just like explaining to this lady. It's like, this, this is a rock and roll band. I know it's it's death metal, but it's like, it, it, it's a fucking band. You think, like, the band members? Do you think metalheads in general are out there, like, slitting people's fucking throats for fun or something? Like, you know, what kind of, like, satanic panic garbage are you on? Dude, this, is a, this is a fucking band. You yeah, know, but I'd go around and was wearing, you know, be wearing, like, municipal waste, suffocation, fucking deicide and shit like that. Just not really thinking anything of it. But the only times I caught shit were from people like that. Again, I remember being with my mom... At like Target or something in like my, my late teen years, and I was wearing a fucking white zombie T-shirt, you know the classic with the green guy like the Frankenstein head, and on the back it says "Get up and kill." And this lady, again, middle-aged fucking white lady who we call Karens nowadays, comes up, flips out, just being like, "You ought to be ashamed of yourself wearing something like that. Like how could you?" And the funny thing is about it is both of these ladies. I mean, for those of you who don't know, I am not a fan of like Christianity. I'm not a fan of religion at all. Um, if people are religious, fine, but, you know, those are those people like the, that I'm talking about are the people that give all of them a, a really bad name. You can believe whatever you want. I mean, you can believe in a hundred gods, you can believe in no god. I don't give a fuck. I don't believe in god. I'm not religious at all. And uh, don't come up and start telling me about it. Even then, don't come up and start telling me about your religion. Don't come and give me shit like white zombie is the root of the world's problems when you have a fucking cross dangling from your neck. I don't want to fucking hear it, okay? Like, should I tell you about, like, what the Spanish Inquisition was doing to people whenever they first got into the New World? You ever read Bertrand Russell's book, Why I'm an Atheist? You ever read that? Or Why I'm Not a Christian, excuse me. When he's talking about how, like, the Spanish Inquisition used to, like, drown the indigenous babies and, like, bash their heads in with rocks because the idea was, you know, if they die now, at least we can save them from, like, a life where they grow up as heathens and end up in hell. At least now we might can secure their place in heaven by killing them while they're young. I'm just saying, 
you know, I'm not saying all Christians are going to go around killing indigenous babies. That's not my point. My point is, don't look at me and tell me rock and roll and fucking heavy metal music or even horror movies is what's causing all the problems in the world. Because horror movies and rock and roll and heavy metal, that's relatively new shit. Horrific violence has been going on for fucking ever on this planet. As long as human beings have been here, there has been some fucked up shit happening. Any regions of the world you go to, don't matter who was around, doesn't fucking matter. Mass murder, genocide, slavery, all that shit has been going on for fucking ever. So don't come to me and try to pretend that my white zombie t-shirt is the cause of the world's problems. Anyways, that's just kind of getting a little off topic there. Just That shit sets me off a little bit. But, uh, you know, I, like I said, I had a question about whether I was going to do more horror-related content on the channel. And I say, yeah, I think I probably will, though it will probably follow a format much more like this, where I'm just directly talking about stuff. Maybe I'll hold the movie up and give you some points on it. Because the days of me doing like those longer in-depth, like uh, full-on reviews where I show the movie clips and stuff, one, those things are time-consuming as fuck. YouTube absolutely fucking rapes content creators, especially small creators, with copyright, with strikes. They change their policies and then they'll go back and remove shit that you put up before the policy. It's one of the reasons I nuked my original, for those of you who know me from the Autopsy 87 days, it's one of the reasons I was just done with it. You work all, you work your fucking ass off and you build something up. And then they'll just be like, oh yeah, we have new policy, that's hate speech. And then they'll remove a fucking video. They'll give you a strike on your channel and there's no appealing anything. In fact, on this channel, even the music videos that I've done, that Metallica Blitzkrieg video that's up on this channel, uh, and even the Motorhead uh, Death or Glory, both of those got not only got copyright strikes, not even for the music, but for the images. And I got a warning on the Motorhead one. I got a, I still have a channel strike on this channel right now from the Metallica. You want to know why? If you read the, if you read the comments on that video, if you watched it, you'll know why. Because I mentioned hate speech. I use video footage of the Nazi invasion of France in a Blitzkrieg video. And by the way, I got every bit of that footage from right here on YouTube. Hate speech. I used it. I had to go back and have to re-edit and fucking re-alter. And the thing is, these kinds of videos are just way the hell easier to do. You don't get fucked over as much. Even these recent videos I've been doing, I get some copyright stuff just because the music I have in the background. Every once in a while, it'll pop up, but they still let me use it. They don't block it in all the different countries and stuff like that, at least so far. They like to do that kind of shit, too. But, yes, I would love to do... There's plenty more horror movies to talk. In fact, I have written down over the past, like, year or so, different movies and even given them, like, scores. How would I rate this, this, and this, like I do in those videos. Um, how I would rate them and everything. There's... there's oh, look at this wall back here. Or, excuse me, over here. Like a fucking weather lady trying to point to the map. <clears throat> I got all kinds of fucking movies I would love to do reviews on. For metal, it's a lot easier because metal is, you know, an audio form. Whereas horror is, it's really hard to do a good horror movie review without, like, showing clips. And the clips, they take time to find. They take a lot of effort. Um, and then you do all that and you'll get fucked over with copyright. I mean, one of my favorite horror movie reviews I've ever done on this channel is for the movie Intruder. The uh, you know, slasher movie from 1989 that takes place in a grocery store. I fucking love that movie. And I think that is like the best horror movie review I've ever done on this channel. And I've done some that I really, really like. But uh, that one got struck down. They didn't even warn me that it got struck down. And got completely blocked and banned. So I had to go back and find what the problem was. Re-edit it. Re-upload it. And even then, after doing all that... Partially because I think people just don't care as much for the horror reviews as maybe these videos, because these videos are doing better, and they're way the fuck easier to make. And I can pump more of them out. Um, but, I mean, even that, like, the last video I have uploaded already has more views than that Intruder video that has been up for, what, like six months now? And then you do all that work, and YouTube fucks you over, and then YouTube don't promote it, and then... Everybody, like, I'll have people constantly coming, like, oh, dude, I didn't even know you were still doing videos, and it's just like, dude, I've... I don't know what else I can do different. It's just the way YouTube does shit now. That's why every channel you go to now tells you click the bell for notifications and 
you know, show all notifications and shit like that because you can be pumping shit out and your own subscribers don't get it because YouTube pumps up some other fucking asshole with a much bigger name. And hey, it's their website. They can do what they want, but I can sh certainly talk shit about it. Anyways, I do plan on eventually doing some more horror reviews. Um, if you'd be interested in seeing that, I mean, let me know. Even if I, it's just me sitting here rambling about a fucking horror movie the way I do about metal. But for now, my focus is definitely on metal. I got CDs coming in out the ass, like, getting my fucking, uh, getting my rack. Again, the weather lady shit. Uh, getting my rack over here fucking full. Uh, I've actually got, because of some other issues I'm having, about to start doing some just own personal bootlegs. Buying the shit off of, uh, buying the album straight from the band off of Bandcamp and just burning on myself and printing out album covers. Not to sell or anything, but just to keep for myself because... Some of these assholes on Discogs are proud as fuck of some of these copies that aren't being reprinted. And I'm not paying some asshole $30 plus like 15 or 20 shipping from Europe for a 35-year-old album. I'm not doing that. I'll go to the band's band camp and I'll pay like $6, $7 for the download. I'll put that bitch on a CD my goddamn self and then I'll print out a cover my goddamn self and stick it up on the wall. I mean, I would rather just buy the album straight from the band for a reasonable price but you know some of these people get these old copies some of these labels that own the rights to it don't want to re-release songs they can jack the prices up whatever it is hey man some of these albums I'm not playing that game with but anyways uh, for the assessment that horror and metal go hand in hand I was really curious if most of the metal heads and even the horror fans and that watch my content if that's kinda of the way that they see things I get the impression that it is I get the impression that a lot of you like horror, but uh, especially if you don't, if you're a metalhead and you're just, could, maybe you're indifferent on horror, but I would be curious to know why that is. Uh, what, what is it about horror? Is it just, you find them boring, uh, you pr just prefer action movies? I mean, I mean, for a lot of horror, I could see that. I mean, there's a lot of damn good action movies out there. Maybe you just prefer that to horror? I don't know, I'm kind of interested on that, and uh, there is definitely more content coming, guys, and it's going to be overwhelmingly metal related got a lot of albums coming in so keep checking back and uh, let me know what you think especially about the horror thing I'm very curious alright later guys